Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the servo drive with optimum braking demo model. This Plex demo model illustrates a servo drive application combining the Plex electrical, control, and mechanical domains. The electrical circuit consists of a stiff DC bus, a three-phase inverter, and the actuator consisting of a synchronous machine with surface-mounted magnets, which is implemented in Plex using the PMSM component. As we can see, all parameters for the model are defined using the octave language syntax in the model initialization parameters accessible via the simulation menu. The Plex machine components contain a mechanical flange connection whereby a mechanical system can be interfaced. In this case, the servo motor is coupled by means of a compliant shaft to a ball screw gear. The coupling between these two elements is modeled by an inertia and a backlash component. The ball screw gear translates the rotating mechanical system here to a linear motion in this direction, which moves apart along a slide. The output of the gear is attached to a slide, which holds the part that is being position controlled. At the end of the slide is a hard stop with which the part will collide if not properly controlled. An advanced high bandwidth state space control is implemented for the positioning of the slide. The controller regulates both slide position and motor speed using internal state limiters and anti wind up mechanisms. Two choices are provided for limiting the motor speed a fixed limit and an optimum limit that is dynamically adjusted based on the actual deviation from the target position. For large set point changes, use of optimum speed limiting is necessary to avoid limit cycles. The output of the state space controller consists of a torque set point for the electric machine. It is translated into an equivalent quadrature current set point for the PMSM. The machine current is controlled by a digital synchronous frame regulator. This regulator is numerically decoupled based on motor speed and also includes state limiting and anti-windup mechanisms. Finally, space vector pulse width modulation is used to control the output voltage of the inverter. Let's now run the simulation just as the model is provided. The top plot shows the machine torque regulation. The middle plot shows the part speed and motor shaft speed. The bottom plot is the part position set point in green, the limit in blue, and the actual position in red. As can be seen from the simulation run, the position control is very poor. As the part speeds up, it overshoots the reference position hits the hard stop and then oscillates back toward the set point. This phenomenon is a limit cycle caused by the electric machine not having sufficient torque to slow the slide before it is already far past its set point. This behavior can be mitigated by enabling the optimum braking algorithm in the model, which we welcome you to try for yourself. This concludes the video on the servo drive with optimum braking demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com.